Yep, that's me. In case you're wondering how I got myself in this situation where there's always a start for every story. After the night I arrived in Lagos, Jovio called me to tell me that, is this the hair you're wearing for the shit for tomorrow? And then I was wondering, no, that's not the hair. I panicked. I did not think about it. My hair was not giving off the mood board. It was not giving what I stand for. It was not even giving my expressive self. This is not my typical full Afro hair. It just looked really funny. I panicked. I did everything. I went into my box to see if I can try out some new hair. It looked funny. And then Jovial came to save the day. She took me out by 11.30 in the night to Circle Lagos to see if we can find something to at least meet up to the mood board. So in a way, that hair was horrid. We went down to the store. We looked for different things. She walked this is no I, I promise jovial looks way better than this like she was she just had to hurry so that morning my hair was already made we made the hair at about 2 p.m i there was no time to record that i was too tired to record my hair getting made in the middle of the night and then that's uh, odega lagos the my stylist in the morning he decided to find a way to style the hair to make it look good we needed to make it more out of the little we had and then that's a uh, marvel beauty makeup artist she's amazing guys these guys are like top-notch amazing i'm so glad i walked to them so much i had to tell them because once we got into the elevator i couldn't help myself this is the fastest i've ever been dressed i up. think it's perfect that i have yes. like someone that is so fast i can just rough it up but the rough it up is actually clean and this is lovely. really clean yeah. I love it. thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very ah, much. Thank you. And she had every right no, to blush. You. Guys, look at me. Look at me. I look so glam. I look like the eat girl. I they turned me into something else. So after that um short um, bonding session with the amazing glam team that I worked with, we had to hurry down because we were already late. But one thing I need to spot out is the fact that this is the fastest I've ever been dressed up by a glam team and it still came out amazing. You saw the pictures. So yeah, and then this happened. We went to Santiana to fix my nails because there was no way I was going to do a shoot with my, with my nails looking like that. But the problem is, while I was fixing my nail, I went way behind shadow and Jovial called to tell me that the shoot was almost called off because of the... We almost missed our time for the shoot. So we were way behind schedule. I felt so bad. So while we we're driving to the location, all I needed to do was apologize to every single part of the theme that were waiting for me. This was me apologizing to Jovial because I felt somewhat bad because of my fingernail. I made everyone wait. But then eventually they were so graceful. They were so nice to me. No one actually acted out. And then I was in my element as usual. So we did the shoot. It was really amazing. I think you guys got to see the video before time. So this was what happened behind the scene of that video. Then yes, the part this particular shoot was over and then we had to hurry down to the next location. Tons of people were already waiting for me at the other location. I, I will apologize job. publicly. I want to apologize publicly. I stressed her out. Hello, so, you know, she didn't ask for an apology. I just had to do it because, I don't know, I just felt so bad. No, But everything turned out well, Sha. So, yeah, we headed down to the next location for the next shoot. And that's clean shots. That's my video guy. He's always behind the scene. But the first time, I just wanted him to be in front of the camera. And then I made a relief. I met Darren Lee again and then he was as usual now Darren Lee was giving me ginger at first I was shy because the room was packed with all these amazing masters uh, DJ YC was there small doctor um Terry Terry's as, as usual amazing everyone was there so I just felt somewhat self-conscious but then he made me feel so comfortable he gave me ginger that's small doctor there that's Jovial that's uh, DJ YC and then I greeted everyone in the room and greeted the new masters the old masters and then once we got to the place, the place was so hollow and so big. I was really self-conscious, but they made me comfortable. They made me really comfortable. So I, I later got in my element. That's Mo. Um, that's Fash. Fash was the photographer for that beautiful shot I dropped. And that's Mo behind him, putting his hand on his shoulder. Mo was the creative director. He made me, like, he made, he forced and stretched out that, that, out of me and it worked out eventually i love the amazing team i worked with that's totally giving me insight on the bottle i'm holding he mentioned that the jägermeister bottle is one of the strongest bottles out there that it can last under a very 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 ridiculous temperature i don't remember the numbers but he mentioned something like that he has so much insight bottom line i had fun and i'm so excited that i'm collaborating with jägermeister for this campaign it's so amazing guys i can't wait to show you what we have planned with jägermeister in the meantime just stay 
close stay glued to my page and i promise to surprise you and entertain you and inspire you as usual halves i love you so 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 much i love you love you love you love you, love you. bye